I've been painting since I was, since I can remember. And, but oil painting, I started, my first class was in college. And then I don't think I really thought much about it until I started thinking more towards painting professionally and deciding on what medium I wanted to paint. And oil, not only was it just very flexible and offers a lot of opportunity, different directions you can go with it, but I also knew just from even a practical standpoint that they were, in terms of sales, were a good choice to go. Between the equine, our bison, and architecture, just fundamentally just comes down to shape. Horses goes back to that childhood passion. There's just something in part of my soul, I think, that I can't quite shake. Uh, and then the architectural part of it, I'm not quite sure why I'm so drawn to angular, edgy material. I noticed that it started in college with a photography class where I, just, I kept being drawn to the uh, older homes in Fort Collins or especially factories. I became enamored with this one factory that was just outside of the city. So I think that's where it started. I, and then the connection between the two is the balance. I learned something from an inquine piece that I then apply to an architectural piece and vice versa. And I think it just gives me a little bit of a reprieve from doing the same thing over and over again. And for me personally, I think that's really what the journey is about is getting and finding closer and closer to what it is in your inner core. So I think that's what I try and teach with my students too. And I'll go to an art museum and a particular painting or artist will just captivate me. I hope my work has that sort of effect a hundred years from now and that they'll make up stories and critique my work and make up their own ideas about what's going on in the painting. Whether that's what I was thinking or not, it doesn't matter, but if it's igniting some sort of thought process, I think that would be wonderful. I just feel very grateful to be able to make a living as an artist and to be surrounded by uh, a great city with great artists, a great art community, and to be where I am at now at Saks Galleries, and I'm just very grateful. And I really do believe the right people come connected with the right painting, and I think that's ultimately what I, what's important to me, that the people that buy my paintings feel that way about it, that it's part of their home now and part of their family, so to speak.